This video will provide a brief overview of VTTI's Older Driver Training Project. When participants first arrive at VTTI, they will complete a series of indoor assessments. Included in these is the Useful Field of View test, which measures participants' sensitivity to peripheral stimuli and their ability to divide visual attention. Participants will also complete standard vision tests. We will also measure neck and torso flexibility using a head-mounted laser. The location of the dot allows us to see how far participants can turn. This is our test vehicle, a 2012 Toyota Camry. On the hood we have mounted red LED lights used for Toyota's training program. These lights are adjustable and removable. Here our experimenter is aligning the hood testing lights with the reflected training lights mounted on the dashboard. The participant inside the car directs the experimenter how to adjust the red testing LED until it lines up with the green training LED. Training and testing will take place on the Virginia Smart Road, which is a closed road course approximately two miles long. Before beginning training and testing, participants will drive a lap of the road to become familiar with it. During the training phase, participants will be asked to drive while the green dashboard-mounted lights illuminate, reflecting off the windshield. Participants will not be asked to respond to these lights. If you look closely in the video, you can see the lights blinking off the windshield. In the testing phase, participants will be asked to click a finger-mounted switch whenever they see a red hood-mounted light illuminate. This finger switch allows us to have an accurate way to measure detection performance. Another testing metric we are using is a three-way peripheral detection task mounted on a headband. Each stalk has a red LED light mounted on its end, and participants are again instructed to respond whenever a light illuminates by clicking the finger switch. Finally, to try to capture real-world hazard detection performance, Tricycle. participants will be asked to call out roadside targets that indicate the possibility of children playing nearby. Mm 